Hey guys, welcome to Luna's Kitchen. I am Luna. I'm really excited to show you guys this authentic Haitian recipe today. We are going to be making goat stew with okra and carrots. Now, I have to warn you guys, this is not a quick and easy meal. Goat meat takes a really long time to cook, about an hour and a half to two hours. So this meal is going to take you some time. Fair warning. But follow along, I'm going to list all the steps and all the ingredients that I use in preparing this dish. And um, I think you guys are really gonna like it, especially if you like goat, if you like red meat. Let's do it. When cleaning goat meat, make sure you're removing as much fat and connective tissue as possible from the meat. And anything that's not meat itself, you want to clean, cut, and remove. And you want to rub down the meat with some limes and some vinegar and you want to rinse it all off with some boiling hot water prior to seasoning your goat meat. After adding your seasoning and um, making sure that it's well mixed into your meat, let that meat sit in the seasoning for at least an hour prior to boiling it. And also make sure that um, after adding your parsley, your thyme, your scotch bonnet with the cloves poked, make sure you add about two to three cups of water. Now I only added about a cup of water to the goat meat. Um, that's just because I didn't want the meat to be, um, I didn't want a lot of water, but I strongly advise that you guys do two to three cups because I had to constantly check on the meat to make sure that it was not burning and make sure that the water was still there. Um, but yeah, if you add some water to your meat, you won't have to worry about that as much and make sure that the fire is not too high so the bottom of your pot does not burn. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add my okra. And guys, be careful when cooking okra. You don't want to disturb okra because it breaks easily after it's cooked. It becomes very slimy, very slippery, and it can break in your meat. So I plan on taking this okra out, so I'm not going to disturb it too much. I'm just gonna make sure it's submerged so the steam can cook it. And I'm not going to continue cooking it with the meat. I'm just going to cook it just a little bit so it absorbs the flavor of the goat and all of the juices and the flavors. I'm gonna cook it for about 15 to 20 minutes, then I'm going to remove it from the meat so that way it does not break and my stew does not become a slimy and slippery mess. Go ahead and remove your goat meat from the goat stock. Make sure you don't throw out the stock because you're going to use about a quarter cup of it in creating your red stew or sauce and you're going to create this in a whole new pot.
And there you have it guys, dinner is served. I paired this goat stew with some rice and red kidney beans, which I will also include in the description box if you guys wanna make it as well. I had some salad, I had some fried plantains with pickles. Everything came out super delicious, so good. I would love for you guys to try this recipe. I know it's not an easy recipe. It's definitely a labor of love type of dish, but it's well worth it. Um, reach out to me if you guys have any questions or comments, and I will do my best to respond. Until next time, guys. Bye.